did I now almost forget there we need to open season four? Season four of Ghost Town Vlogs. So, welcome everybody to season four. Season four of uh, renovating this uh, abandoned ghost town here. Season four is gonna be exciting, guys. We're gonna have a lot of projects. Uh, we're gonna see if I ever get into my house. We're gonna start work on the other land to make a bigger community garden. Uh, we're gonna see what um, we're gonna do with the new house that we're buying. And we're gonna do a special project. It's still kind of a secret, but uh, I might let you in on some of it. And we're gonna see if our chef is gonna be able to keep up the garden. Plus he might have another project coming. I think we're gonna need your help this season, guys. New season, new hat. Vamos la, let's go. Maybe we need to get some uh, ghost town hats. Yeah, so that's not very handy. Uh, cut the wire with the trimmer. <laughs> stupid, stupid, stupid. I heard in my head already like I needed to remove it because the, um, the actual pipe was in the way. I'll go around the pipe. No, 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 no. 
So yeah, that's kind of a bummer because um, this is supposed to be uh, waterproof. So now the pump can only go down uh, five meters. Any one of you, any idea how you can fix this? That it's like waterproof? Let me know. Uh, because our chef needs the pump for that well, to water the garden. Uh, we're still good for now, but uh, the well is eight meters deep. Next project. So uh, since the chef is cooking uh, lovely meals here, uh, we need to uh, reorganize the kitchen a little. So uh, this wall still needed to go. It's been here since the beginning. Um, here in the corner there were some shelves from Schist. Took them out already, but there's still uh, a little bit left here. And I want to remove this corner, what is actually made of, you can see here, tijolos. So that should come out pretty well. And then we need to take out this beam. There's a beam here from the old roof, where the roof was resting on, but the whole beam is sounding very hollow. <laughs> so yeah, that thing needs to come out. And luckily I got this nice little hammer from my favorite DIY store. It's uh, quickly turning out to be a favorite hammer. Uh, of course this wall we're going to do with a sledgehammer. The beam is completely gone. <laughs> wow. Let's get a sledgehammer for that. Let's start with the small one. I promised the chef I wouldn't make too big of a mess.
timber. Now we need to clean up this freaking mess. I saw that it was not attached to the floor. So. Hey, hey, Toby. Hey, Toby. Buen día, señor. Turbine? Turbine? Yeah. <coughs> uh, hello. <laughs> so yeah, uh, last year, no, not last year, beginning of this year, I think, I already bought some solar panels for a very good price. Um, but they're still standing here. And 
with the better weather coming, it would be lovely if we can get some free power. So, as you may know, we have the Blue Eddy, which is a battery. And we've been using the portable solar panels on here, but they're not really doing much. So I'm gonna install those panels. There. Uh, with that. No, not the jeans and the pillows. Hey, Kira. Did you have a nice bone, sweetie? So we're still working on hers. Right there. So uh, yeah, I bought this set online. It was about uh, 250 euros. It should be able to hold my five panels. It said six panels, but my panels are like, no, it said six meters. And my panels are 120 wide, I think. So should be exactly good for five panels. Um, but probably because it was so cheap, it came without a manual. Uh, now these were like very easy because they were folded and I could just like put in one screw. And then we have all these long ones. And they should be to put the panels on. And then there's a whole box of connection thingies to install the panels to that uh, rail. And then probably we have to connect the rail together with this. But yeah, no manual, so uh, just an assumption. It was very cheap though. So you can also see the cheapness from the quality of the cuts. Eh. Pretty bad. And these things are in all, uh, all in a different length. So yeah, let's just see what we can make of it. I think that's how it's supposed to go. What do you think, Zoe? A lot more than six meters now. Better too long than too short. So I'll uh, fix these and then uh, we'll see if we can put the frame together.
I think I'll put him together where he's gonna go. Not sure it's uh, all sturdy enough to move, actually. Should be able to hold the panels though. So the idea is, if you put the nut on and then cut it, you can easily restore the thread by taking the nut off. Not today though. Not today. Damn it.
that season four also comes with a new website. So what's really new and interesting about the, the website is um, the roadmap. I made a, an overview of the project for this year that is still to come. And we're gonna add new projects as we go. And here you can see um, what projects we have going on when, and with what projects you can come and help out. So if you wanna come and help out uh, on one of the projects, uh, you're very welcome. Uh, you can enjoy the ghost town and this lovely scenery here. Maybe you can learn something from us, or maybe I can learn something from you. It's a beautiful surrounding here and you can uh, come uh, enjoy a good time here in the ghost town. Maybe meet uh, Zoe and Akira or Renato. There is always something to do here. So we have a form on the website. And just fill in the application form and uh, come and help out. Of course, on the new website, we also have the new merchandising. Uh, just one shirt for now, but um, you can already own a Ghost Town Vlog shirt. the dog food in your shop normally, yeah. like the dry food. There was one empty shelf, probably was there. <laughs> oh. But I saw like, I, I tried some other stuff now, like smaller packs. Okay. And I saw like in Archeologio, they have much more stuff. Oh. Like dog food. <laughs> What are you doing there? Yeah, they're up. I'm not really happy with the position though. For one, the summer is coming, so they need to be more flat. For two, uh, doesn't look really nice in the garden, right? But we're gonna see if it delivers some power. Because if it doesn't, then it can go. And if it does, we can find a better place for it. We'll probably be here for a while though. You dropped a piece of broccoli. <laughs> Probably not an accident. So, Friday morning, we're already uploading the members video. <laughs> if you want to see videos early, become a member. <laughs> uh, packages for the digger. So they arrived from China pretty fast. One was in seven days and one was in nine days. So Richard said already he was be uh, coming back to help put uh, put Doug back together. Yeah, to be continued.
So apparently the connectors I bought, one of them has not the correct inside. It's almost as if we're not meant to have solar. <laughs> so one thing you should have a male input. And one thing you should have a female input. Here we have the male, female. But the thingy that was in here was just as big as the other one. So what I'm trying to do is basically I'm trying to tra transgender it <laughs> to a uh, male. I doubt it's gonna work, but otherwise I have to drive to Costello for another connector. We have other connectors, but they're already attached to cables and it's like from the factory. So I'm not able to open them up and use the connector again, which is a pain. Basically it needs to fit in here. You never know. If you don't try, you don't know at all. much about solar but I'm not having a good first experience <laughs> so I have two panels connected now uh, let me start with the beginning <laughs> I managed to get the thingy a little bit smaller it's not really going in all the way but it's uh, touching parts so I think that uh, should be okay for the test now up two panels now and because as soon as I hooked them all up the thing started complaining about overloading so I have uh, no clue why though because two solar panels now produce 600 watt 600 watts and so five would be like 1600 watts and uh, this blue eddy should be able to take uh, at least 2000 watt. I think it was even 2400. So yeah. I don't know. I need to do some more investigation. Uh, and I need to get another connector. So to be continued. It costed me two days with all the problems with the screws yesterday. Today the connectors. And now I still don't understand how it works. But at least it's charging the batteries now. Because it produces more than we use. So yeah, basically uh, I should have been uh, working in here already. Doing this. 